So to start the examination of the venous system, the first thing that I like to do is ensure that the leg is fully exposed and then check that there are peripheral pulses. So heel from the dorsalis penis and the posterior tibial pulse. So that you know that if you want to apply compression, it's safe to do so. Following that, you need to inspect the leg, initially looking for any signs of spider, uh, spider veins, uh, varicose veins, so there are a few varicose veins across here, uh, as well as looking for any evidence of edema, which you can check by just pressing your upper medial malleolus. And there's no edema there. Uh, and then also looking for hemosiderin staining, so an orange brown pigmentation, uh, or atrophy branch, or lipodermatosclerosis, which will typically give you an, in an inverted champagne bottle appearance. Then need to palpate the vein, so you feel for any saphenovarynx, which typically will occur um, at the saphenothermal junction. Palpate the veins themselves to see if there are any areas where there are lumps or any evidence of phlebitis, and also check the temperature. And also look around the back to look at the saphenopopliteal junction and the distribution of varicose veins down the back of the leg. This can give you a guide as to where any varicose veins uh, might be or where, where there may be any superficial venous reflux. So now to do the tap test, uh, this is to look for whether there's uh, incompetent valves within the distribution of the varicose vein. So first identify the saphenofemoral junction, place your fingers over the long saphenous vein and tap where you can see a prominent area. And you should feel pulsations traveling up the vein to the other fingers. So here is another example of the tap test on the short saphenous system. You can feel, gently feel on the saphenopopliteal junction. You can see a varicosity running down here. If I tap this gently, you can feel the transmission uh, at the saphenopopliteal junction. So in order to do the tourniquet test, or the Trendelenburg test, first elevate the leg, and then milk uh, any blood out of the long saphenous vein. And then you can rest your leg down. So apply a tourniquet just below the saphenofemoral junction. And then ask your patient to stand up. And if the incompetence is above where your tourniquet is, then the veins will no longer fill. And you can test this by then releasing the tourniquet and the veins will fill. So if the tourniquet has not stopped the veins from filling, then the level of incompetence is lower and therefore the test can be repeated further down the leg until the level of incompetence is identified. And that will mean that your incompetence is secondary to a perforator lower in the leg rather than the saphenofemoral junction itself. So we're now going to do Perthes test, which is to look for deep venous insufficiency. Just begin this test by placing a tourniquet around the middle of the thigh. And ask the patient to stand up and down on their toes ten times and look at the long saphenous vein. This manoeuvre should increase deep venous return and therefore uh, Blood should be drawn out of the superficial venous system into the deep venous system, and so any obvious varicosities should be reduced. So you can see that this has come down slightly. 